For example, we've used a W310 by 253 type of beam. But also if we go to the perspective view, we can see that Revit has also created the connection between these two beams, or apex of the structure. However in this regard, we do have a problem between the beam and the columns, since the connection is practically not there. But let's go to a west elevation, where we can see this more clearly. This is the so-called connection. And if we display the line's thickness, we could also see the analytic model, along with the connection between these two elements, for which is still necessary a lot of designing work. And how can we design and create such connection? Since remember, while is very difficult for the actual profiles, especially hot rolled, to fail under the stress of different load types, is not so much for the connections between those elements, especially if such connections are poorly designed. So to begin with, allow me to show you something. This is the interface of Autodesk Robot Structural. A design interface that can in fact communicate with Revit. Namely, that if we go to the Analyze tab, I could take my structural model, whatever this is, and export it to Autodesk Robot Structural.